everyone, and welcome back to the Dwarven Tavern. I am Dr. Jeff Collins, your host, and this time we're going to be taking a look at Starfinder Flip Tiles. This is a boxed set. It goes for $34.99 from Paizo, no less. The folks who just keep cranking out some of the coolest stuff around. So this time we've got Flip Tiles. Flip tiles are like the old dungeon geomorphs, only they've been uh, they've been redone in a very cool modern way in which you can write on them. They're they're cardboard and cardstock, but they are uh, made with space age materials that allow you to write on them with dry erase, wet erase, as it says on the box, wet erase, dry erase, or permanent markers that uh, that come off. Uh, apparently easily. So I may test that boast, but first I'm going to explain things a bit. Each tile has uh, features. <laughs> It'd be kind of silly to have a tile with no features, would it not? They're one inch squares for use with uh, minis and they're double sided. So 42 tiles equal 84 possibilities for mapping. This is the this is set on it as a station, a space station, but it could be it could be anything. It could be a ground installation or I mean, I think uh, most Isley was a space station and it was on the ground. So uh, it can be any any size because you have multiple tiles and your characters are only in one place at a time. So even even to the point where if you had uh, if you had characters that were like staying over here in this corner of the station trying to figure out a, a puzzle or something and you needed to move elsewhere in the station with other characters you could just take that tile and move it with the, the minis on it and uh, leave them be and have several areas of the map going at one time which uh, which I really really like. Uh, I'm believing that uh, if you had like little squares of masking tape or something not anything stronger because you don't want to rip the surface off but if you wanted to keep the tiles together for whatever reason you just pop a little square of tape on them and they'd be good to go so it is uh, a, it's a lot of options um, since they're double-sided I'm trying to organize my thoughts because I'm preoccupied with making the map as you can probably see <laughs> I continue to be preoccupied you've got all of these, uh, all of these tiles. Uh, one side, you've got rooms that are kind of a brownish, and you've got uh, corridors which are kind of a grayish, bluish, grayish. I guess I'm kind of colorblind, legitimately, so it's hard for me to tell what is which is where. So you've got a uh, one side of the tile is largely just rooms and corridors, where the other side of the tile is like special features like this one is a sleeping area for instance this one is a large room tile or it's a large corridor tile with small rooms off to the side but on the other side it is some sort of uh, an electronic feature it looks like a series of monitors around a central console which could be excruciatingly cool then you have that same uh, cross with no central console but on the other side you've got a large internal quarter with small outside rooms and so forth and so on and uh, the options keep getting more and more for instance this guy is a big and this was actually on the cover right on one side you've got this guy on the other side you've got just the plain corridor so it's it just has a lot of different options that you can do and I think this is a very useful and very uh, necessary accessory. So, which brings us to the question of, do I have a dry erase marker? And I shall look, and I shall see, and I shall, what is this guy? This is dry erase, and this is a Sharpie. So, I don't seem to have a wet erase, so we'll try it with the dry erase and a couple different types of sharp and I will get my shop rag out and we will we will take a look so we will take a regular uh, this is a tea no <laughs> now, how do you make your teas Jeff well this is a this is a four-way right and uh, I'm gonna start with the uh, with the, the dry erase okay on the uh, on the corner and make a mark okay you probably can't see the mark there is the mark and Green, in my experience, 
is notoriously difficult to wipe off of any erasable surface. I have noticed because I had some I had some uh, hard plastic tiles for mapping and uh, I got those back in the late 90s and they still have green on them so uh, I took the mark and I wiped it off and it came off completely okay next is the black sharpie there's the the black sharpie mark I'm making tiny marks because I find it very difficult to intentionally ruin anything and with some effort it came off now the trick to wiping off any kind of magic marker is to uh, write over where you're going to wipe off a second time and that makes the old stuff wet again and it looks like it came off very very nicely yeah yeah it came off completely sharpie and then this is a uh, this is a silver sharpie which as you can see in the same place as the other two and then and there it is post sharpie so passed all three tests very very nicely super nice it even if there was a, re a residue of the black sharpie it even got that off with the silver yeah it's gone it's gone so uh does it does it meet its claims yes permanent marker sharpies are the the permanentest of markers so there it is you've got these uh you've got these uh tiles and you've got uh, an airlock here to throw them out of so you've got x's you've got big quarter a uh, big quarter spaces with with rooms where the nasty little aliens can hide you've got these that look like escape pods on the side of the corridor big rooms I, it's just adds up to all kinds of possibilities for your uh, spacefaring uh, needs which to me you know the the visual is immersive just as the audio is in the terms of gaming and when you have a good visual representation of where you are i love battle maps personally just because they're visually this looks like a what is this a ground hatch it doesn't explain doesn't have any directions uh doesn't really need them it's just tiles and you can make up what each thing is. For example, this guy here, it's just a big brownish conglomerate of looks like electronic parts in a square in a floor, okay? That could be a hatch for something lower for a ship or a missile to come out. It could be a, uh, a place where garbage is thrown. It could be a, a garbage dump full of uh, electronic parts. It could be the central processing unit of an enormous station that the characters have to hack into, so forth and so on. It lets your imagination go nuts. It's like the first synthesizers. Uh, the Moog was, uh, I was told, because I didn't have one when they first came out, but I was told that the first synthesizer had one line, actually it was a one word set of directions and it said experiment. I don't know if that's true or not, that's what I've heard but that's very much the case in this case including the the console for people looking out maybe over the flight deck or over the the ports and yeah it just it just makes it makes me want to play it, it makes me want a game that's a good sign <laughs> anything that makes me want a game well that really honestly isn't saying a whole lot because i always want a game but this makes me really want a game so there we go so this gets officially uh five lowercase axes <laughs> Because it's, well, it's it's thirty four dollars, so it's not a it's not a minor purchase, but it's not an enormous one either, like a set of rules or whatever. But this it does what it's supposed to do, so it gets five axes, but it's an accessory, five accessory axes, because it's uh, it does what it says it's going to do. It does all the uh, the erase things that it uh, reported on the box, which is good. It has visual representation of various parts of a station no instructions or explanations just it is thus and uh, also comes with these index card style tab separators 
that I, I thought I was a neat little touch. I didn't have to add this, but it's it's cool for uh, separating your things. Like you can have uh, you can have all of your T's and all of your four-way intersections and so forth and so on. So I'm gonna take a picture of this guy with included with the thing. Yeah, it's a neat it's a neat little station. And I just I just put that together by just throwing the tiles on and so making a, making a quarter ends match up and stuff. And looks pretty cool. I would game it. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I love I love accessories anyway. Some of them are more useful than others, but this one I this could apply to many different games. You could use this in your Traveler game, or or you could use it in your uh, your GURPS game or your whatever sci-fi game D20 Future or what have you, because it's it's utterly and completely generic. Which is really cool because if you are a company, I mean, it's really smart for Paizo. Uh, to do so because if you have a game that you can an accessory that can apply to many different games not only your own then you've you know multiplied your sales by the number of sci-fi games that are out there which uh, which I think is pretty cool I, I, I do uh, respect and appreciate Paizo for their I mean you know it may or may not have been you know let's let's do something nice for the other companies and it may not have been that I would probably suspect I don't know I don't know. I, I know some of the guys from Paizo, and they're pretty cool, so they, they're very likely to do that. But uh, but other than that, it's just good business. So uh, it, it is very smart uh, to do so, and it's and it applies. So there you go. It is Starfinder Flip Tiles, thirty four ninety nine. The manufacturer suggested retail price. 42 full color map tiles, wet, dry, and permanent marker erasable. Although I would go easy on a permanent marker just because, I mean, I don't like marking my stuff. I'm kind of weird like that. Uh, so yeah, it's it's just double-sided and very, very useful. Six inch by six inch map tiles. That's important, that's important to know because, uh, just because this gives you an idea of, of how much space that you have to play with. If you have, you know, if you have a two foot wide table, then you can use four wide, like this is two feet six inches a foot two feet so and and then you can scroll them or whatever so very cool very cool stuff on that note i am dr jeff goins on behalf of the entire cast and crew of the dwarven tavern we wish for you to want for nothing but adventure and at first i feared it then i charged onto the station and killed a bunch of slimy aliens on a bug hunt thanks for watching and we'll see you next time